what's going on guys, it's your boy Nelly Power here bringing you back with another GTA 5 video. In today's GTA Online video, I'll be showing you guys how to get the colored duffel bag from the new Casino Heist DLC. So if you guys do happen to enjoy today's video, why not go ahead and smash that like button. And before I get straight into today's video, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to these people on screen. Now if you guys want to shout out my next video, go ahead and comment hashtag NellyPower in the comment section below. Now with that being said, let's get straight into the video. To get started, you will need to start one of the heist setup that gives you the colored duffel bag. If you have the same heist setup as me, go ahead and select the heist setup called Infiltration Suit. This heist setup will give you the colored duffel bag. When you're in the mission, complete the objective as normal, but when it's time to deliver the package back to the arcade, get an oppressor or a buzzer and fly high up in the air and then jump out of it and try to land on the yellow circle. After you complete the mission, make your way over to ammunition. Now you're going over to the parachute section and you're going to select the Israel parachute bag. Once you have purchased the Israel parachute bag, you're just going to open up your interaction menu. You're going down to styles, parachute, and you're going to equip the Israel parachute bag. Next, you're going to make your way over to the mask shop. You're going to take your oppressor or your buzzard and you're going to fly high up in the air. You're going to jump out of it and you're going to try to land in front of the mask shop. Right before your character takes off the parachute, you want to spam right on the d-pad to enter the mask shop. From there, you're going to save the outfit. If you guys want to see an alternate method on how to get any colored duffel bag using the direct mode glitch, let me know in the comment section down below. To get started, you want to go into director mode and then you want to shortlist your bird and your online character. Once you have those two items shortlisted, you want to make your way into an invite only session. Next, you want to make your way over to a time trial and you're going to set your spawn location to last location. From there, you're going to start the time trial and then you're going to press down on the d-pad and select any story mode character. Now when you get back to story mode, you're going to select director mode. Now from director mode, you're going to go into your shortlist and you're going to scroll between the bird and your online character. Now you're going to keep scrolling between the bird and online character for about 25 minutes or until your character gets on the haystack. Once you get your online character on the haystack, you want to keep scrolling between the bird and your online character. You want to make sure that you over duplicate the birds so that later when you try to freeze the Christmas mask, the outfits won't change back into default director mode outfits. Once that is done, you want to go into actors, beach bump, and you want to change the character's appearance. Every time you change the character's appearance, you should start seeing modded outfits. Now, you want to scroll through the actors and you want to make sure that the outfits don't change back into default director mode outfits. But if they do, all you have to do is go back into your shortlist and get your online character back on the haystack. Now, you want to go ahead and shortlist three Chris masks that stick when you leave, such as the reindeer mask, the elf mask, and the penguin mask. Now once you have found 3 outfits with the Chris mask that stick, go into your shortlist and you want to remove your bird and online character. Now to freeze the Chris mask on the outfit, you're going to hold down on the d-pad and right on the d-pad while flicking the left analog stick. This is what's going to make the game lag and you're going to get the mask to freeze on the outfits. Once the mask is frozen on the outfit, look for an outfit with the duffel bag and then shortlist it. Since the mask is frozen on the outfit, you can use this glitch to get anything in direct mode. Just make sure that the outfit doesn't have any blacklisted components and you're good to go.
Once you found an outfit with the duffel bag and you have shortlisted it, you're going to need to go to online and do a setup process there to save the duffel bag. So from here, if you have any outfit in your shortlist that you want to bring into online, now's your chance. To save an outfit, you're going to go into your short list and select the outfit. Now when you get outside, you want to press down on the d-pad and select any story mode character. Now when you get back to story mode, you're going to start up an invite only session. When you get to online, you'll see a glimpse of your outfit and then it'll give you an alert screen. Accept the alert screen and start up another invite only session. When you get to online, you'll have the outfit. From there, go to a clothing store and save the outfit. When you get into online, you're going to make your way over to Ammunition. Now you're going to walk up to the front counter and you're going to go ahead and purchase yourself the Israel Parachute Bag. From there, you're going to equip the Israel Parachute Bag from the interaction menu. Now you're going to make your way over to this parachute job which is located in the city next to the Los Santos Customs. When you get here, you're going to start the parachute job. When you get into the mission, you're going to go all the way to the ground, but you're not going to touch the ground. Right before you get to the ground, you're going to pull up the phone and you're going to leave the job. Now when you spawn back in the line, open up the weapon wheel and you should notice that you should have two parachute bags. From there, you want to register yourself as a CEO and request the buzzard. So now you're going to fly up in the air and you're going to jump out. And right before you land on the ground, you're going to switch your outfit. Now you're going to wait for the orange loading circle to appear and then make your way over to the time trial. Once you made your way over to the time trial, you're going to start the time trial and then you're going to press down on the d-pad and select any story mode character. When you get to story mode, you're going to start up director mode. Now when you get into director mode, make your way over to the shortlisted actors and you should see the outfits are different, but you should still have the curse mask to save the outfit. So from here, make your way over to actors, animals, and select any of the birds. Now when you get outside, you're going to open up the interaction menu and you're going to hover over quick director mode. Now you're going to try to crash into a moving vehicle. And right before you crash into the moving vehicle, you're going to press quick director mode. If you don't hit it on your first try, just go back and select the bird again and try again. And if everything was done correctly, you'll be put on a black screen for about 1-2 to two minutes. And then you'll get the wasted screen. From here, you'll be on a second black loading screen. So what you're going to do is open up the interaction menu. You're going to press up on the d-pad one time and you're going to select A. This should bring you back into director mode. From there, you're going into your shortlisted actors and you're going to select the outfit with the duffel bag. When you get outside, you're going to press down on the d-pad and select any story mode character. So when you get to story mode, you'll have the outfit. From there, start up an invite only. When you get into online, you'll get a glimpse of your outfit. Then you'll get an alert screen. Accept the alert screen and start up another invite only session. This time, when you get into online, you should have the outfit.
once you get the duffel bag in online, you can't go into any of the clothing store and save it, so you're gonna have to do a glitch to save it. But first, I'm gonna show you guys how to transfer the duffel bag. So you're gonna take your oppressor or you're gonna take a buzzer and you're gonna fly high up in the air and then you're gonna jump out and right before you hit the ground, you're gonna switch your outfit. Now to save it is the same method, but this time instead of switching your outfit, you're gonna land at the mask store and then quickly press right on the d-pad to access the mask store and then save your outfit in one of the slots. What is going on guys, it is your boy Nightly Power here, bringing you back with another GTA Online video. In today's GTA Online video, I'll be showing guys how to get the duffel bag on GTA Online after all the latest patches, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. To get the duffel bag in GTA Online, you're going to need to have a terabyte and you need to be a CEO or an MC president. Next, you want to get into your terabyte and you want to start the mission called Robbery in Progress. Once you have started the mission, go ahead and access the computer and locate the bank you're going to need to rob. Once you have located the bank using the computer, make your way over to the location, now go into the bank and take the duffel bag. Call Lester to call the cops off, but don't call him inside the bank or you won't lose the cops. Once you got the duffel bag and lost the cops, make your way over to the delivery spot. Now you want to get yourself an oppressor or a buzzard and you want to fly high in the air. You want to hover over the delivery spot. Now jump out and you want to try to parachute onto the delivery circle. After you complete the mission, make your way over to your nearest ammunition store. Now you want to go into the parachute section and you want to select the Israel parachute bag. Now once you got that purchase, go ahead and equip that through your interaction menu. Once you got that completed, make your way over to the beach. Once you have made your way to the beach, get yourself an oppressor or a buzzard, now fly high up in the air, jump out, now you want to try to land in front of the mask store, now as soon as you land, right before your character takes off the parachute, spam right on the d-pad to access the mask store. Now go ahead and save your outfit, the parachute bag should disappear, now back out of the mask store, go into your interaction menu and select the outfit you just saved. If everything was done correctly, the duffel bag should appear with the outfit. If you guys enjoyed this video, why not go ahead and slap a like, and as always, it's been your boy, Nightly Power, peace out.